going here? Well, I'm testing out a new live YouTube broadcasting app for uh, on my phone, Alcatel AA45L. Um, see how it does. I have it plugged into. Um, is that what you're seeing there and over here that was on my main monitor and this that's a extended monitor to the laptop here and I'm using uh, this is a Windows application called uh, my phone what is it my phone Explorer yeah and of course it looks a little funny <coughs> it's refreshing pretty slow <coughs> pretty slowly doing video so uh, look at some of the natural stuff around the room here There's some of my audio gear and uh, I can't move very far because I have it plugged in to the USB cable right over here that is the way that this my phone Explorer you put the, uh, the server app on your phone and the client on your on your computer and it uses the USB and that's the only one I've found that actually works it still gets a little lag but lags a little bit but uh, just panning around the old room here to see how things look it's just a test video um, the um, there's my favorite keyboard I have two of those and um, anyway um, junk papers you know standard stuff and this is the phone I'm using I have three of them now I've got two for me and one for my mom you can't see it very good um, and I haven't really done anything this is the second one see what happens when you flip up see if the video flips up I was using I tried out another app can't see it too well there. I'll turn it the other way again just to see. I don't know what happened. If the um, most of the time, I will in in all. I think in all of the apps I've tried. My, oh, I'm trying to aim at the phone. So this is the the phone and the camera lens on the other phone. That's that I'm uh, using. It's only four trying to get that yeah it's not it doesn't it's not a great camera it's a five megapixel but uh, for I got these phones for fourteen dollars and eighty eight cents each at Walmart and I think they're still on um, this is uh, seven nine sixteen and they were there yesterday been on for a while now it's unusual but um, anyway getting my finger in front of the camera all kinds of good things this is my first smartphone actually I haven't even had a mobile phone since uh, 2001 I had one of the first models that had uh, had internet but it was pretty hard to use <laughs> to me uh, on a regular it was a regular phone with buttons on it you know pretty hard to type on there for me I didn't like that at all um, and then really I, I just uh, I got to where you know I, it, this these things are hard to see even these that's what I was saying it's not a very big screen it's like a four inch screen and uh, I can that's why I'm using this app is so that I can work on it because boy it kills your eyes to try some things I can't read it all without grabbing a magnifying glass and I've got it on the biggest text it can be get but I can set I can put it on my on my big monitor here you know I can see. I don't guess I could get out of this screen without lo losing my video. No, I don't think you could do that. I guess I might get out of the screen and show the desktop of it, but I don't think you could do that with a video or anything, so I won't try that. But, um, <coughs> it's, um, I went blank there. Um, anyway. I'm trying to see. I always wanted to. 
I like the idea of the YouTube live stream. You, you, you know, you don't have to edit them or anything, and they're already uploaded when you're done. But I've tried it with, uh, well, I've tried it with that laptop I'm aiming at. It has a built-in camera that does, you know, okay, resolution better than these phones. Uh, it's like 1200 by 1600 or something, and uh, but you have to dial back the quality of the video. You have to drop down the bit rates, drop down the resolution to uh, get the stream without, uh, you know, everything getting out of sync and uh, dropping frames, and, and then the audio and video don't sync. But uh, the one other app I used, um, I forget the names of everything as best as I read them. Uh, it, um, it did good. I mean, it wasn't, you could see, it wasn't as good a quality as the phone can do. Uh, but it uh, didn't drop any frames. The audio was all synced. I was complaining on my video about, oh, it probably won't work. And it did work. And so I went ahead and uploaded the little video just for the heck of it. I even edited it with a little app I tried out and downloaded Ken, Kenny Master or something. K I N E Master. It was kind of, it's all right. It's awfully hard to edit a video on the tiny screen because wouldn't you know it? This, uh, this, this app, this, um, my phone explorer it's pretty good but uh and i've tried the air droid and it's really limited actually it works really well it goes out i never did figure out for sure if it, it probably doesn't go out to their servers by default i think it uh, may uh go on your own local network which is the best way you could do it through the network you know get more, the best speed but um but it was very limited uh, five or six or eight apps that it allowed you to use and that wasn't anything I wouldn't try to use you know I want to be able to control the whole phone I want it to be for VNC for the phone you know remote desktop for the phone and because um, I want to be able to set things up install apps uninstall apps and do everything that you'd be doing but be able to see it and read it and uh, team viewer uh, worked and would let you do it but it lagged so bad you couldn't use it it was going out through the Wi-Fi, through the internet, to their servers, and then back to you. So imagine you're going that from your phone, through your router, to their server somewhere, and then back to your desktop. You know, not surprised it didn't work. And especially since these phones, uh, they don't get uh, my routers. Let's see. Well, they don't even do five gigahertz they do 2.4 gigahertz whatever it is 2 gigahertz uh, my router has two, one, one of my the router I'm using has two speeds I have a couple several I can't show I don't think I can show them there but they're kind of in the behind that but, uh, yeah I have an old Linksys and it's 54 megabits Trendnet's wireless back there but it does not I turned it off because it's so crappy uh, it's barely even any good for wired and uh, it, it get the longer you know, you have to, it gets uh, really slow and just no useless. And then up below that, below the links is that you can't see. Uh, how about I move that thing? There, below the net links is the old fashioned links is, is uh, trend net, TP link, TP link. Uh, it's the faster one. It's the newest one. And uh, anyway, that's the one I'm connected to. But it'll get must I've seen is 35 to 39 uh, megabits uh, through the phone. But it will do 54 on the 2 gigahertz and about 300 on the 5 gigahertz. But I don't have very many things that'll connect to 5 gigahertz. So. Um, these phones that don't have, uh, I'm sure the newer phones, this, the newer models have, uh, you know, faster Wi-Fi card uh, chips in them, but this one doesn't have a real fast one. Uh, and on the Linksys, it was even slower uh, for some reason. It's the Linksys, oddly enough, has a lot uh, stronger signal around the house than the TP-Link, but uh, on all all uh, frequencies, but. Uh, and this, this, uh, but you know, not much of the stuff I have is new, so it uh, it won't do the faster. Doesn't matter. Uh, won't do the. And what what am I trying to say? Some t if you take this laptop, say, out into the garage and want to connect to one of these routers here in the room, 
you would want to go ahead and connect to the Linksys, and you'd get the full 50 more, 54 megabits the whole time. Uh, it, and uh, <coughs> but if uh, if you're on the TP-Link, it may be it may start acting up on you, you know, dropping some packets and stuff, and you'll start noticing uh, things acting up. <coughs> Um, and this laptop or nor, let's see, I think oddly enough I have an, this is a Dell 1525, I have a Dell 6000 which is older, I think it actually will connect to the 5 gigahertz, I, can't, I remember I have one thing that will do it, and, uh, but you got to basically stay, you can't go for maybe one room away from this room to have, because the 5 gigahertz is the weakest signal of them all, which I didn't expect. And maybe that's the difference between that and that TP Link that was pretty about 50 bucks on sale, and say a 300 dollar router like one of the brand new Linksys or something. I, I don't know. I haven't don't have I haven't ever had anything new, newer than that TP Link. So I like the TP Link. I like the settings in it, and I actually like the old uh, WGR whatever it is 54 the Linksys. Uh, you know, you can put Linux firmware on them. I mean, new. They can't, they have Linux firmware in them, but I mean, you can put OpenWRT on them and stuff. So um, that's one of the main reasons I bought that TP Link. So anyway, all that is things you got to learn about if you don't already know it. And I already knew some, but I had to learn some more to try to do you streaming to YouTube. So. Um, when you're tracing, like I said, if you're trying to get a good quality, I was using. I didn't say anything about those probably some. I was just trying those old webcams, and I mean those are old. Uh, one's 380 by something, and the other one will be 640 by whatever. The one on the bottom will be 640, and the top one on top is like 380 by 240 or something. And I tried to first, I was all, you know, thinking, oh, this is not my high resolution. I'm doing both, and I was switching. Well, I mean, I didn't do both. Well, try, well I did try. I, I had them all set up and uh, tried several different apps. OBS Studio was end up being my favorite. I think I can actually ship. Well, I don't know if you can make it out, but uh, this machine here has a lot of that stuff installed on it. And I always put the stuff I use. There's OB, OBS Studio. That's open source. That'll do YouTube streaming. Um, right there. I guess you probably don't not see it well enough to see what I'm pointing at. I'm trying to get still. Oh, sorry. Trying to get still. I can't tell that this is a weird chop down preview and it's hard to tell where I am on the screen. Let me get in another place here. Now I can get I can get to where I just show my icons. Okay. I believe I have them all on here, the reason I was, but I can't see nothing but the phone, so there we go. XSplit, that was the first one I tried. It worked, but it was hard. Uh, that wasn't the first one, actually, it was the first one I tried that worked. It's, it's uh, one of those commercial things that are like limited functionality, it, but it was pretty cool. Um, but OBS Studio being open source, it, and it runs on, uh, actually runs on Linux and Windows, which is really cool, because Linux is what I run. I'm using Windows because I have to to do this right here, this little app I was showing. I hardly ever even, I, I always keep systems built up, but I don't use them very much. And, uh, I don't know if there's any more on there. Wirecast, that was the very first one I tried. Um, and I don't think I ever got it co to connect and work. That was the first one that YouTube recommended uh, when they first started the uh, live streaming. Let's see. Yeah, I believe that's it. Just those three. I th actually, for one of the first things I tried to do was use uh, VLC, but I couldn't get it to talk to. Because uh, it'll stream. I used to do it. I used to do it on my network to my other computer set it up as a streamer and then I could watch it on any computer I wanted on my network you know and uh, 
I just did it for the fun of it. I never really got got much serious. I never did it in serious use, but uh, yeah. So that that's the ones I've used before. And yeah, it'd be nice if I could tell you what the one is that I'm using right now. Um, let me see. I think. I haven't installed them on the. Uh, I haven't installed them on. Oh, you're going to sit sideways until I turn you, I guess. I'm trying to put it somewhere where there won't be so much distracting background. Oh, I didn't, I didn't wake, I didn't uh, wake it up. Okay. That's my slightly modified home screen on the, one of the machine, on one of the phones. What I was thinking here is, uh, let me, uh, I know this is terrible. get to a place to where my yeah here we go now that the monitor is black we can actually show this the only thing is, is I can't do all this at once I just went no telling where okay so here's the phone home screen don't have very much on this one so I'm in the process of setting it up I've seen people do this and I'd say why are you doing that I can't see what you're doing of course they go as fast as they can go but I am trying to go slow Let's see okay there's one I've tried can't really make it out. It's called Insta Lively. That black looks like a heart or something. But that's not the one I'm using right now. It was pretty good. I liked it. Um, and uh, so that, well, I'm trying to get to the name of this one. Oh, I know what I can do. Get back on the machine, my main Linux machine, and I believe it's still, you know, yeah, I oh don't know, yeah, this application actually uses, that's why I was testing it out, it actually uses the USB. Shoot, I gotta wait for this machine, I gotta get this machine woke up. Here I am, I was, I was there a while ago. These are all the apps I've tried out. Of course, most of them came with the machine, but uh, let me get to a certain place here. Okay, so. Yeah. There we go. When I get it where it looks half square on the. I can't read the screen. Okay. Let's go down a little lower. So I can look over the camera. Okay, now, <coughs> make sure and reload it, make sure they're all showing up. It's odd, the ones you would uninstall, they still show as being on your mission, on your phone. I didn't expect that. Okay, so where are they? Our bar to bash. I always put that stuff on there, let me see. <coughs> Okay. I don't even see the ones that are. They got uh, Total Commander was my first uh, <coughs> file manager that I discovered back in Windows ninety eight days, and I bought that and I have used it in Windows machines ever since. They have it for Android. I was really happy to see that. So I put it on all, on both of these phones. One of them I haven't set up yet. So, uh, okay, yeah, there's one Insta Lively. Where is the other one? Is 
even see it and I'm sitting here running it. Insta Lively. That's the one that uh, that I used yesterday on my uh, test. And uh, that video is on my DWEB98 YouTube channel. Of course, if you're, w if you're actually watching this, then that's where you are right now. I mean, you found you found this video anyway. It may not be on my channel, but okay, here it is. Camera live, camera five live. That's what it is. Uh, it's, it's a beta. Anyway, it'll work with YouTube, Facebook, UStream. I didn't know UStream was still there. And uh, that's the setup screen. Now I see what it is. There's somebody showing a laptop. Oh, and it's uh, the reason it was really interesting to me because live, you can it, it'll work with. Uh, I don't think you you gotta have some. I mean, I've got 60 megabits down and four up, and still have all the problems I talked about. Um, something me message. Oh, it's. <laughs> Saw a message on the screen and I thought it was telling me something was wrong. It just says Don Bishop's broadcast on there, and I didn't see that a while ago. It says you can do professional quality. You can use USB to plug in camcorder, DSLR, etc. So um, actually, this is just going straight from the camera, uh, camera on the phone. And what I had intended to try is to see if I could use the camera in the uh, laptop just for an ex just for experimental purposes to see if it would stream a little bit higher quality video through this app. So uh, actually, well, what I, I just went with the defaults and hit go to see what would happen. I may try that next, but. Uh, I was supposed to be setting up that other phone, and I got sidetracked. I was looking for the apps that I wanted to put on it, and I s and I was on my phone. And I thought, well, I haven't tried that one yet at all. I don't know if I want to put it on there or not. So, it's uh, pretty cool so far. Camera Fi Live, and um, let's see. I'm going to leave it on my phone. I don't know if I'll put it on. I'm not, I probably won't put it on the other one. There wouldn't be no sense, I don't think. Whichever one's the easiest to use. The other one seemed easy. Now I'm not sure which one would be the easiest. But anyway, this one might be easier. Okay, because the phone I'm setting up is for my mom. And if she ever uses this stuff, it needs to be s simple. Really simple. Okay, this is Dawn, and this is the end of my test with uh, camera file. Uh